Let's consider what's called a concentration cell. And this is a galvanic cell in which both of the half reactions are the same. It's just that they have different concentrations. which is where it gets its name. So the difference in concentrations is what drives the flow of current. Let's look at an example of one of these. Here it is. So if we had a St under standard conditions, over here on the left, if we had a copper anode and a copper cathode and the concentrations of the copper ions in solution were the same, we would s see no flow of current, and we see that reflected here in this zero volt. However, if we use a copper anode and a copper cathode, but we change the concentration of the copper ions in solution so that on this side we have 0.01 molar, and over here we have 2 molar, then we can generate a potential difference between these two half cells. Let's take a look at what that difference would be and how this can work. So we can first consider what's happening for the oxidation half reaction at the anode. So we have copper solid going to Cu2 plus plus two electrons. And as an oxidation reaction, this has a potential of negative 0.34 volts. The reduction half reaction is Cu2 plus plus two electrons going to copper solid. This has a reduction half reaction of 0.34 volts. And so in total, our total reaction is Cu2 plus aqueous plus copper solid going to Cu2 plus aqueous plus copper solid, and this has a cell potential of zero volts, obviously. Now, if we instead calculate the actual cell potential by using the Nernst equation, we get the following. So now we have the difference in concentrations here, and we find this has a voltage of 0 0.068 volts. So we can generate a voltage just by setting up essentially a difference in concentration on either side of the cells. And one place where this is useful is in generating a hydrogen fuel cell.